Susan from Three Days Fit Fitness, and we are going to be doing a lower body workout using a chair as your prop. So any kind of chair I think would work for this. Um, also, if you have a little loop band like this, we'll use that for just some little extra resistance. But if you don't have one of these, you can do this without this, you still will be using your body weight as resistance. So it's, uh, it's gonna be great either way. Okay, so we're gonna be doing lots of lunging, lots of squats, bridging, stuff like that. Again, all using this chair. So let's start standing up. You don't need your band yet. Let's go ahead and start standing up with some lunging. Okay, so we're gonna start lunging facing the chair. Go ahead and take one leg up right to the seat of the chair here. All right, draw your dog button in. Get yourself really straight through your core. Engage your abs. Pull your belly button back towards your spine. Okay, go ahead, lean forward. Grab a hold of the arms of the chair. Step your back foot back. And come up to the tippy toes. All right, now, go ahead and just straighten up. So finding balance here. Finding balance. Squeeze your cheek a lot as you straighten up your body from your hips to your shoulders it's a straight line okay take your elbows out in front here let's go ahead down and up okay perfect lunges now i do want you to think about that you are dropping straight down go ahead and take your hands to your waist if you like this better squeeze squeeze your inner thigh squeeze your abs every time and squeeze those glutes. Press down. Squeeze. So another option might be to take your hands behind your head. Either way, I want you to keep pulling your belly button in. Woo! And keep your balance. Drop lower. Squeeze your butt higher. Four more. Pull, pulse, pulse. Tiny, keep your chest up. Breathe. Hang in there. Last four. Drop your heel. Go ahead and lean forward. Remove that foot, that front foot. Take a second as you get ready to transition to the other side. Okay, here we go. Take the other foot up. Lean forward, take that back foot behind you a little bit. Enough so you can come up to your tippy toes. Squeeze and engage your glutes. We're gonna lift straight now. Find your balance. Here we go. And up. This is a lot of core work here to hold your balance. All the way down, all the way up. If you don't like these hands here, just take them down. Either way. Keep squeezing. Oh, lift. That's it. Push and squeeze. Abs tight. Hang in there. Squeeze that quad and that hip flexor. Come on. Four more, then you've got pulses. Drop straight down. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Keep the booty up. Come on, push, push. Your shoulders are down. And try to keep that chest up. Oh man, burning here. Four, three, last one. Come on down. Really nice. Okay, we'll come back up and do a little bit more upper, um, up standing at the chair, but for now, come down. If you have your band, go ahead and take it now. And go ahead and take it around your 
lower legs. So we're going to be doing some bridging. So this is really, really hard um, on the hamstrings. Really good hamstrings and lower booty. So if you get tired or if your hamstrings cramp, that's okay. That's normal, but take breaks when you need them, okay? So we're going to come on down to your back. Take your feet up to the chair. Take your head down. Just rest your feet on the chair. All right, you're going to squeeze your butt. You're going to place your arms down. You're going to lift your hips so that your hips are in line with your shoulders here. Relax your arms and press up, up, up. Little presses. Come on, you've got this. Don't let your butt drop too low. Keep it up. Whoa. Keep drawing your abs down. Belly button. Press your hips up. Squeeze. Hang in there. Come on, give me four, three, hold it up. Go ahead and take your right foot up straight. Okay, now is where we get into the hamstring, yes? Straight that right leg as you drop, down and up. Press and lift, press and lift. Come on, stay with me. I know this is burning like crazy. Come on. Four, three, two, hold it up. Drop your right foot. Stay lifted. Lift your left foot. Oh my goodness. Here you go. And up and down. Going down, straighten up. Breathe. Got this. Just give me four more. Hold it, hips up, foot down, roll your back down. All the way. Really good work. Come on up. All right, so let's go ahead and stand back up. Do a few more lunges. So you're going to take, if you have the band, you're just going to take it off. Hamstrings should be burning right now. Okay, so we did a set of lunges facing the chair. Now we're going to do a set of lunges facing away from your chair. Okay? So, take a breath. You're going to take your right foot. Let's start with that. Go ahead and place it up on the chair. Now, what's important here is that you have a wide enough stance with your feet so that when you go down into your lunge, your knee doesn't go past your toe. You're going to be dropping straight down like this. All right, let's take your hands here. Hold, squeeze your abs, squeeze your cheek. Drop and lift. Now, remember this is lifted. So the same options with your hands. You can bring your hands behind your head. You're pulling your belly in. So this hip flexor is extended. Push your weight into your front heel. Come on, stay with me. Squeeze at the top. Four, three. Hold, come on down and switch. So you should have felt a lot going on in the inner thigh. Again, that hip flexor, that glute. 
So we're switching to the other side. Take the foot back. Take your stance wide. Make sure it's wide. All right, hands behind your head. Stand up nice and tall and drop it. You're dropping that back knee down. Think about that. Dropping that back knee down. Squeeze. Squeeze. Come on. Stay strong.
So we're going to take a stretch. Let's go ahead and stand up. Come on up to your feet. And let's go ahead and take a stretch. Let's go ahead and take your hands right here to the arms of the chair. Sit way back. Sit your hips back. Stretch through your arms. All right. Bend your knees here. Go ahead and round your way back up. Take your time. Couple more moves and then we are done here, guys. All right, let's go ahead and do planking to push up. So you don't have to do the push up, you can just hold the plank if you like. It's going to be a little tricep push up. So go ahead and take your hands to the seat of the chair. And go ahead back into a nice plank position here, up to your tippy toes. You can just hold this. Or we're taking it down and up.
Pull your belly button up, stay strong in your core. You can add those arms. Lift, low. Come on, push through your heel. And lift. Wiggle those toes. Sit back with your hips. Let's just do some pulses. Go. Three, two, one. Straighten up. Three, two, one. One abs strong. Three. Squeeze at the top. Squeeze at the top. Couple more. Two more. That's it. Last one. Come on up. Squeeze. Take a breath. Just keep moving a little bit. Moving that body. Okay. We're going to take a couple more moves here. We've just got two more moves. A little bit more for the abs, which we haven't really touched on. Although, as you run through all these exercises, I always want you to be engaging your abs. Okay? Make them work, even though you're working your, you know, focusing on the low body. So we're going to do a little triceps, a little bit of abs. Have a seat in your chair. For a second, just relax. Okay. We're going to do some tricep presses. Now these, this is a really advanced exercise. Right away, your triceps might cramp. So do what you can do. Just take a break if you cramp up, but it's normal for them to cramp as well. So go ahead and take your hands to the edge of your seat here, fingertips pointing forward, hands close to your hips. All right, so there's a couple of different variations of ways you can do this. You're going to take your booty right off the seat. Now, you can keep your feet both flat on the floor like this. You can just hold this and track your triceps. This is a body weight exercise. Or you can bring both legs out in front. Or what I'm going to do, sort of half and half. I'm going to bend my right leg up. You ready? We're going to dip. Down and up. Dip and squeeze. And squeeze. And squeeze. Really straighten at the top. Four more. Come on. This is a tough one. Hold it up. Hold. If you need to switch your feet, go ahead. Switch and go. Down and up. Press. Hang in there, come on, be strong. Just give me four more. Four. Lift. Three. Lift. Two. Last one. Oh, that's it, guys. Oh, yeah, nice work. Come on up. Shake out those arms. Wow, right? Take some swings. Shake them out. All right, come on and have a seat. Let's just finish up this workout, this fantastic workout, with some ab work. So go ahead and sit right to the edge of your chair. Come up to your tippy toes. That's why you're really you're engaging through your legs, your calves, your hamstrings. Now just to sit here in this position on the edge of your seat, I want you to engage your core really tight, pulling, pulling that belly button back. As if that you have a, imagine you have a really tight belt pulling you back. Crown of your head is lifted. Nice and tall. Take your hands behind your head. So we're just going to do some twisting, okay? Just right, center. Left, center. Right, center. Left, center. Keep the belly button in. Keep your elbows wide. Your elbows are moving along with your chest and your torso. Pull your knees together. Come on, keep going. Use that core. Inhale, then blow all the air out of those lungs. 
couple more. Stay straight. One more set. To the right. To the left. That's it. Relax those arms. Woo! So let's finish with a set of tucks for the lower belly. All right, same thing. Hands right here to the edge of your chair. Just lean back. You're sitting on the edge of your chair. Go ahead and hinge back. Now your torso is one flat board as you hinge back, okay? Lift your knees. Find your balance here, yes? As soon as you feel like you're good and you're balanced, you tuck, extend, tuck, extend, tuck. Tuck. Come on. Lift your chest up and back. Oh, shouldn't be this hard sitting in a chair. Come on, let's do four more. Four, three, two. Oh, come on down. Beautiful, beautiful. Good posture, guys. Let's just finish with a quick little stretch. I want to just do a quick cat cow with you. Okay? Take your hands down so you're in tabletop position. You can be on your palms or on your wrists if you're um, on your knuckles. If your wrists hurt you, then you can come here to your knuckles. Okay? Here we go. You're going to round your back up. Drop your head. Now go ahead into a nice extension. This is the cow stretch. Take a breath, go into cat. Take your cow, eyes up. Let's do one more set. Take a breath, go into cat. Cow. Let's sit back into a child's pose. Sit back, stretch those legs, reach. Come on, round yourself up. Be gentle with your body. That was a tough workout. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.